my beautiful people, welcome back to Starbuck. I'm Kemi Adami and I'm super excited that you guys are here again for another fantastic fashion filled episode. We've got so much in store for you guys as usual from our tips of the week, our do's and don'ts and so much more. But before we get into all of that juiciness, we're going to go on a quick break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. On our style news this week, they're branching out into the American market and rolling out pop-up shops all over the country. This is to create a safe place for the plus-size shopping experience. You can find out more about the stores at simplybe.com. That's it on our style news this week. Up next is our style clip for the week. Our style clip for this week comes from Marc Jacobs and it says, For me, clothing is a form of self-expression. There are hints of who you are and what you wear. I love that. On our ethnical style star for this week, we've picked our very own Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo. We're absolutely in love with his sense of fit and he slays in and out of Asarok. Now let's look at some of our favorite looks of his. When I think about style, I think about freedom, being able to express who you are. I remember when I was growing up, like my mom used to get me like all of this um, funny looking clothing or put you in like all these boo-boo dresses. And it wasn't my thing, like I used to rip them off and I like, just tried to feel cool and just be funky with myself. I remember when I was in school, like I actually won like best stylish person in school. And I felt like, okay, this, this was for me and I probably this was my calling and funny enough because of how I was and how I knew my style was going to be my parents were okay to even accept who I am or who their daughter is. I pursued my dream obviously this relates back to being a content producer. I always watch people on TV and like how they just look really bomb and like how they spoke, how they look. And it was just something I just aspired to be like them. But obviously this is about me and this is me finding my path in life and also being proud of my journey so far. I'm not there yet, but I know that surely one day I'm going to get to where I am. Also building myself up, for not just only for myself, but for the generation, also for my future kids. I was born to do this and I believe in myself and I'm very sure you guys believe in me too and I'll never let you down. I'm Idia Bode, a content producer and also a YouTuber and this is Style Muse.
On our Stay in the Game segment this week, we're focusing on our boss ladies. We're giving you four tips on how to make the world's most comfortable pants office friendly. Our first point is to match your leggings with a tunic. This covers the most basic problems and adds more dimension to your outfit. Our second point is to pair it with a blazer. What this does is it gives it a more put together look and makes it look more thought through. Our third point is to pair it with an oversized sweater, but don't go too big. The last thing you want is to look frumpy. And if you want to take it up a notch, our final point is to pair this with a pair of leather leggings. There you have it girls. Now it's time for us to head straight to our fashion do's and don'ts. On our fashion do's and don'ts for this week, it's all about the details. We know that the devil is in the details, so our first point is always go for the extras. If you're wearing a plain white tee, pair it up with a minimalist chain and you're good to go. Our second point is don't think standard. Whenever you're going shopping, always pick an item that has a little shim 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 added to it, maybe some frills or a little bow and it'll always help you stand out of the pack. Now we're heading straight to the countdown. On our countdown this week, we're celebrating nine women in the beauty industry who have been a source of inspiration. As proud beauty lovers here on Starbuck, we're celebrating these groundbreaking women. So let's head straight to the countdown. Let me be 